G'day. We're continuing our series of integrals, the ones belonging to Jim Coronius' list of 100, and this is number 20. Uh, as you see, it looks a little different from the previous three. We still have a radical on the bottom, but it's got a single x in it and not a difference between squares. It begs to be to, for us to use substitution, and herein lies the problem. I'm, I'm going to use this integral as an opportunity to, to discuss some of the principles of substitution, or one particular principle. You can see that we could substitute for the more complicated part here and simply say, let, uh, for example, u equal root x. That would be a good substitution. Alternatively, we could let u equal root x plus 1. And both of them have merit, but both of them have consequences. Let's have a look at what happens. First of all, if this is true, then when we square both sides, we u squared is x. So in other words, x is u squared. Here, x might, sorry, Subtracting 1 from both sides, u minus 1 will be root x. So squaring both sides, we get x equals u minus 1 squared. So far, so good. Taking the derivative of the top here, du dx is the derivative of this. Uh, I never quite... Never quite sure what level of mathematics to assume. I know these in Australia these are four unit questions, but there is a considerable range of ability among students even attempting that level. Uh, but this is x to the power one half, so we would get one half x to the power negative a half, which I'm going to convert instantly to uh, one over root x. And the same would apply here, du dx from the top. Because the derivative of 1 is 0, it's still just the derivative is the same. So, no difference there. But notice what the implications are. If I rearrange this and bring the two, two root x up here and the dx up, I get this. dx is 2 root x du. Same would apply here. But, I want this in terms of u, because I'm going to replace this dx with something. In this case, root x equals u. In this other case, the root x is u minus 1. So you see that by choosing a different substitution, there are consequences. Let's see how it plays out because I want you to uh, observe or learn a very useful rule of thumb with substitutions. When we substitute with this substitution, we would get x is u squared, that's pretty awful, dx is 2u to u, and root x plus 1 will be u plus 1. And that will give us the integral, I'll put the 2 out the front, of u cubed on u plus 1 to u. This one will give us, in place of x, we have u minus 1 squared. In place of dx, we have two lots of u minus 1 du. Here's our dx. In place of root x plus 1, we just have a simple u. And simplifying this one, again putting the 2 out the front, we get u minus 1 cubed du over u. 
Why am I going to all this bother? I want you to observe something here. Here we have to perform a division and we're dividing by a binomial. Not in itself a particularly difficult thing. Here, we're dividing by something considerably simple, simpler, just the u, but our numerator is a binomial cubed. Now we can expand that using our knowledge of binomial expansions or binomial coefficients or Pascal's triangle or whichever method you use. So this one would be, for example, 2 and the integral of u cubed minus 3u squared plus 3u minus 1 over u, the u, divide each of them by u, and that's not a difficult process. But, here's the problem. Whichever of these we do, and we will get a, a either, either way, we will, we will end up with three or four terms to integrate, not difficult, and we will end up, as we'll see, I, I am going to use one of these methods, I'll talk to you about it. Um, but let's say we get u and, you know, let's just say we've got some terms like this that we're going to integrate and substitute. When we come to substitute back in, in place of u, here we replace this with a root x. But if we have to use this substitution, our root x, sorry, our u has to be replaced by root x plus 1, and you see at the substitution stage, after we've done our integration, we don't want to be substituting a binomial, certainly inside radicals and things like that. It just gets tacky. Now, it's doable. It is absolutely doable. But it's just more work than you care for. So, although they're both lovely substitutions, and although they both lead to quite reasonable integrals and quite readily integratable integrals, when you come to the substitution at the end, one is far superior. And the general rule of thumb is, if you're going to make a substitution, choose the simpler one. That's the general one. Choose the simpler one. So, I have solved this using both methods. I get the same result both times, but I'm going to continue by using this substitution. As an exercise, I would encourage you to do this one, to substitute u equals root x plus 1 and follow this procedure and satisfy yourself, one, that you get the same result and that two, uh, it's a little bit more tedious getting there. And that way you will learn a couple of very, very good lessons. Very, very good value this particular integral. So, I don't know how long that took, but that preamble uh, took us on a bit of a digression, a bit of a journey. I'm going to remove this. This is probably the fastest way without... Find the erasers don't work very well, and I have to use a cleaning solution. This is just a bit faster. Okay, <clears throat> let's get into it. I've already performed this work, so our integral is going to be the integral of x, which is u squared, dx, which is 2u du, over root x plus 1, which is going to be u plus 1, which is the integral, moving the 2 outside, as I said, of u cubed du on u plus 1. Now, in this form we can't integrate very well at all, but we can perform the division because this uh, power is greater than the 1 
below the order of the, the function. Now, I have used synthetics division in the past, and I know it's uh, taught in uh, American schools, but it's not taught in schools where I am, uh, at least really. So I'm going to use the, the longer method. U plus 1 into U cubed, and just as we would with division in a binary system, our columns mean something. Here's a U cubed column. We have no U squareds, no U's, and no constants. That's a bit like our units, tens, hundreds, and thousands with numbers. And we just keep things separated. How many U's go into U cubed? U squared do. Put it in the U squared column. U squared times this is U cubed plus U squared, sorry, I thought something was wrong there. Subtract, those disappear, 0 minus that gives us minus U squared. Bring down no U's. U into minus U squared, or negative U squared is that. And we get this. Subtracting again we get U, bring down the 0. U into U goes once. 1 times u plus 1 is u plus 1, and subtract. We have a remainder of negative 1. So what does this give us? This gives us the integral of u squared minus u plus 1 with minus 1 still divided. So I'll put negative 1 over u plus 1 du. So after performing our division, we get that. The integral now of each of these four terms is quite easy. I get u cubed on 3 minus u squared on 2 plus u minus the logarithm, the natural logarithm. Oops. Red x instead of u there. Of u plus 1. Oh, I should be careful. I should use the absolute value. Plus a constant, of course. Now I'll just get rid of this division here because it clutters the, the screen up a little. I'm, of course, on a full page you have much more scope to spread things out. I mean, this is only four lines of work and I've nearly used up the whiteboard, but on a, an A4 sheet of paper I have quite a lot of room left and this material would be over I, I would do all this sort of uh, calculation and substitution and, and division and so forth on the right hand side of the page but there it is good clear setting out we now because we started with a function of x we have to convert this back into a function of x and this is where this substitution is particularly good because u is worth root x uh, or at least that's its value. So, sorry about that. You didn't tell me. Not concentrating. It's two lots of all of that. Um, so, I'll write 2 on 3 of u cubed. Now, if I cube that, I'll get x root x minus 2 times this will be u squared, and u squared will just be x. I'll get two u's, which is two root x, minus two log of u plus one, which will be root x plus one, plus c. I sort of did two steps at once because I, I think I'm getting near the bottom of the board. And there's your solution. It actually pops out quite quickly because we had a simpler substitution. And uh, as I say, I'll leave it as an interesting exercise for you to evaluate this integral using the other substitution and see that you still get the same result. I think that's all I need to share here. Thank you very much for watching.